uh, in the moments after that game, uh, we began hearing a story coming out of Boston concerning Jalen Brown. And uh, the word was that he almost did not play in this game because he lost one of his best friends last night. Uh, Trevin Steed played at uh, Wheeler High School outside Atlanta with Jalen Brown. And uh, so after the game, uh, this was Jalen Brown speaking about that loss. My, uh, my best friend passed last night. And it was tough and, uh, to kind of accept it. Everybody was kind of in shock. But, you know, I knew coming in today that he wanted me to play. I kind of, it's hard getting my thoughts together, but after talking to his mom, his family, they inspired me to come out and play because I, was, I wasn't in any shape to come out. I didn't want to leave my room, but uh, they inspired me to come out and play, and, and I came out and played in his spirit. Today, teammates held me up, and we, we pulled it out. Tell us his name. Trevin. Trevin Steve. Okay. Mm. And this was uh, what he posted uh, on Twitter after the game. That one was for you, bro. Rest in peace. Uh, there's a video online of those two playing one on one not a long time ago. Wow, and, uh, it's unfortunate. Oh yeah, and in a way, um, from what I was reading after the game, uh, this was almost one of those situations that Brad Stevens faced last year with Isaiah Thomas and having to talk to a player and saying, "Do you want to play? You know, or do you need to sit sit this out?" And he played tonight and played well. Was the star of the game. Yeah. You know, and there's, it's always a personal decision. Um, uh, you know, you leave that 100% up to the player. Uh, I always played because it, it, you have so much to think about during the game. You do get a little reprieve just during that time period. Uh, so, like I said, it's an individual decision. But anytime somebody passed away in, in my life, I needed, instead of just sitting around, crying and being depressed. I got on the basketball court for a couple hours, and it, and like I say, just for a couple hours, I got a break. You know, it's always tough to lose a, a friend or a loved one, but, you know, just to add on to what Chuck is saying, when you're on that court for that 48 minutes, I don't want to use the word forget about it, but you just, you know, you know, thinking about playing, just thinking about going out performing. You want to perform for, for that person because you know that person is now in heaven watching over you. But, uh, uh, my condolences go out to his friend's family. Yeah, condolences to um, Jalen and his and his uh, and the family. Tough, tough situation. There is no right answer for it, Ernie. No. It's just um, learning to accept it. He took to the court tonight. He scored 22. Boston beat Golden State. And